Welcome to Faith Revival Place International. I'm your host, Minister and Prophet M.G. Mays. Let us begin in prayer. Almighty God, the lift of our heads, we thank you, we praise you. We are your set-apart people in the midst of all the heathenry of this earth. Father, we thank you, Father, for all the things. We thank you, Lord, that we are your children, and we're we're free because we're born again. We're free because we serve you. We're free because we do the righteousness you called us to. Things of this world. And embrace all the things of our citizenship of heaven. We are a nation within na a nation. A people. but the laborers are few. We thank you, Father, that we will be of obedient of, of what we you called us to do. And we thank you and praise you in Yahweh saves Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, Yeshua. Amen. Pay attention. Listen and pay attention. We're going to go to Jeremiah chapter 13, verse 1 through 27 today. And let us begin. Yahweh says to me, go, buy yourself a linen a long cloth. Wrap it around your body. But don't soften into the water. So that I brought the loin cloth, as Yahweh had said, and put it on. Then the word of Yahweh came to me a second time. Take the loincloth you brought and, and are wearing. Get up. Go to a para. Hide it there in a hole in the rock. So that I went and hid it in para as Yahweh had ordered me. And as long time afterwards, Yahweh said to me, Get up. Go to Pera, recover the loincloth I ordered you to hide there. So that he went to Pera and dug up the uh, loincloth. But when I took it from the place where I had hid it, I saw that it was in ruins and useless for anything. And then the word of Yahweh came to me. There is what Yahweh says. This is how I will ruin what made Judah so proud and Jerusalem so very proud. Likewise, the Lord will, will humble you churches of the world and humble you synagogues for you have taken the beautiful loincloth of your life and ruined it just as this loincloth was put in prayer and, and was put in the hole around the rocks and it was ruined you have done the same so this day the lord will humble you churches and humble your synagogues and bring you back to where you should be and the word of god goes on i will ruin this evil people because you have gone astray from the ways of the world the, the, the lord into the ways of the world so stop this this day let us go on who refuse to hear my words and, and live according to their own stubborn inclinations, meaning going by the old nature. When the Lord says you have a new nature and you refuse to, and therefore your heart was far from when you took the pledge to be born again. Who goes after foreign gods to serve and worship them? And they will be like this loincloth which is useless for anything. For just as the loincloth clings to a man's body, I, I have made the whole house of Israel, the twelve tribes of Israel, the church and the synagogue, and the whole house of Judah cling to me, says Yahweh, so that they would be my people, my children, 
build me a name and be and before for me a source of praise and honor but they would not listen listen on today O children of God listen for the Lord is speaking through his word are you gonna listen so you are telling them this is what Yahweh the God of Israel the God of the 12 tribes of Israel knows that every bottle and filled with wine you are to answer them this is what Yahweh says I am going to fill all the inhabitants of the earth including the kings sitting on the throne of David the Kohims the prophets and the inhabitants of our fathers and, and sons together says Yahweh I will show neither pity nor compassion but I will destroy the, them regardlessly why because you have fallen away from the Lord for you have shepherds in your churches and your mega churches and your, your mega synagogues rabbis that are not following the ways of the Lord they're following the ways of what the government pays them to say humble thyself before the Lord for he is speaking listen and pay attention don't be proud for Yahweh has spoken. Give glory to Yahweh your God, Eloheinu, before the before the darkness falls, before his judgment and wrath is complete in this earth. Pay attention and fall in the line of the of what the Lord wants of your life. Before you feet stumble or the mountains in uh, chaos and while you seek the light he turns it into death like shadows and makes complete darkness but if you will not hear this warning and i i weep sincerely be, before of your pride my eyes will weep bitterly and streaming with tears be, because yahweh's flock is carried away and captive and you already have because you rather go the ways of the world in your churches and synagogues than the ways of Yahweh the ways of Jesus Yeshua HaMashiach why do you do these things O church why do you do these things O synagogue for the Lord has ought against you this day he has told you to repent that you have made a mockery of my grace and you have made a mockery of, of my holy things no more says the Lord you churches your synagogues especially in America better repent I had enough of you America I've had enough of you Canada I had enough of you world we people that call yourselves Christians and Jews for this day either choose this day who you serve either you serve God or you serve the devil tell the kings and the, the queens mothers come down from the throne for your majesty crowns are falling from their heads the cities of, of Nebra are besieged and no one can relieve them all of Judah is carried to exile, completely swept in ex exile. Raise your eyes and you will see them coming from the north, where the flocks once entrusted you, the sheep that were your pride, and the set over the rollers, and those who trained to be allies. What will you say? Won't pain seize you like a woman in labor? And if you ask yourself, why have these things happened to me? It is because of your many sins that you, your skirts are pulled up and you have been violated. And can, can Eth uh, uh, Ethiopian change his skin or a leopard a spot? If you can, they, then you can do good. Who are the uh, companies doing evil? So I will scatter them like a chaff, like a flies away from the desert winds. This is is what you get, says Yahweh. This is what you get, churches. This is what you get, synagogues. You have fallen away from the ways of the Lord, and you know it.
you mega church pastors, you mega uh, synagogue rabbis, woe unto you, woe unto you, for you have stowed in the heart of, of the, the shepherd's sheep away from the shepherd. The one that is truly their God, Yahweh. And you have made them into minions of, of, of the government. When they are supposed to be separate from these things of this world. This is what you get, says Yahweh. The portion I measured out to you. Because you have forgotten Yahweh. You've forgotten Jesus. You've forgotten God Almighty, Yahweh. Do you hear me? And trust in lies of your lying pastor, mega church pastor, your lying mega rabbi pastors. Woe unto you, for you should have been listening to the Spirit of God, and he would have told you so. And I myself will lift your your skirt above your face, and in your pride. Your private will be exposed, and on the hills of your fields, and I will will sing your abomination, and your adulterousness, and your lust for your neighborings. You are shameful prostitutes. You refuse to be purified. Be holy, as the Lord your God is holy, and won't and won't you ever allow it? Will you ever come back to him, O church, O synagogue? Many of you are going in the hands of the enemy, whether you know it. You rather serve this worldliness of this world than your God Almighty. What a shameful day it is. For many of you have gone astray. Many of you rather have the government as your shepherd than God Almighty, the one that created all things. Woe unto you, for the Lord of hosts has odd against all of you. But the ones that are, are true to, to the Lord, you will be blessed indeed. Even in, in trials and temptations and tribulations, you will be blessed. The ones that overcome to the end. For the Lord's are, are coming soon. For I am coming soon, says the Lord of hosts. I will come very soon, says the Lord of hosts. And will I find faithfulness in much of you? The answer is no, because you have gone astray to, to and fro through the earth and going and looking for other things instead of looking no further than, than Yahweh himself, than, than the word of God itself. And then you listen to these Pick squeaks of heathen in the world making and twisting the word and then you'll believe them over what the, my people that I send you away. My messengers that are holy. And you'd rather listen to a pick squeak politician that, that wants your money. That wants to drive you to poorism instead of going the ways of the Lord. Woe unto you, for the Lord is the one that makes riches, and the ones that takes riches away. And I'm not referring just to the riches of, of, of money. I'm talking about how about your soul and your spirit and your body prospering and your mind being crisp and sound. This is what the Lord of hosts has to say. This day repent. This day Overcomers keep overcoming. This day, heathen, stop being heathen tree and be saved. For the Lord of hearts has spoken. So this is the time that I ask those that would like to be born again. If you are Arab and you're tired of the old ways of your kins that have gone in hatred and hurt and killing and pillaging and all things that are not of the Lord of hosts, the true God of the, the Bible. And you, you want to go back to the bosom of Abraham. And you want to be a Christian here, pray this prayer. If you're tired of being a secular Christian or a Jew or backslider, and you really want to be a born-again believer, in the classicness of what the Bible says, then pray this prayer. If you're a heathen in this world, and you muster up good, but it doesn't get you anywhere. You need to be saved today. And if you have a family member, a friend, or someone across the world you need to pray for, represent them in this prayer. 
with everybody humble minded and bowing their hearts before their Lord of hosts, the King of glory, let us pray. Dear God Yahweh, I ask you into my spirit, soul, and body as Lord and Savior in my life. Love you very much, Yeshua Jesus. Amen. If you prayed that prayer, welcome to the family of God, brother or sister. Remember, the Lord has taken your dead spirit and making a living spirit in it. And that's the first act of, of, of baptism of the Spirit of God in you. The second one is like-minded of sanctification. It is a water. Just as baby Moses was drawn in the water, drawn out of the water, a form of baptism. The prophets of, of old and new baptized people and, and they cleanse them and make them right. And the Maccabees baptized many. And Yalcomon the Immerser, John, immersed many, even the Messiah. So shall we baptize uh, biblically now. So being baptized in water is very important. Now your identity is no longer a slave to Satan's kingdoms on this earth. You have been brought into the kingdom of light, the kingdom of God. So you're a kingdom citizen of heaven now. You are a child of God because what Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, did on the cross of Calvary for you. Yahweh says, the image of the Father God, Yahweh. And also, you are a servant employed to do God's will, his mitzvah, his, his holy rulings on earth as it is in heaven. You know, making the things that the heathen do and reverse it into God's holiness and the ways of the Lord. Amen. Falling after the Spirit of God and the Word of God. These are your, your duties as, as being a born-again believer as a citizen of heaven, as an ambassador to this earth. Amen. So now let's pray over the, the people that uh, have have hurts and pains, agony. Well, the Lord fills you, and he wants to see you feel better. And draw, draw in the well, the well of life, and the life of God. For he will help you. He will draw you into his sanctity. And his holiness. So let us pray. We thank you, Father. We thank you, praise you. Give you glory, honor, and praise. We we thank you for your scepter of mercy be extended to all individuals. We thank you in power of, of you. We thank you for your power, Father God. We thank you for your power and your light, the source. We plug in now. And we say, Yes, Lord, send your angels of healing that represent your healing. Go forth and heal them all, I pray. May, may we realize that you are a sovereign God and you know how to heal, whether it be slow or fast, whether, whether it be a creative miracle or maybe just a regular miracle. Lord, we praise you for all things. And we say yes and we acknowledge our going forwards in you. And we thank you and Yahweh saves Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. The Messiah, the coming King that is coming soon. We thank you and praise you. Amen. Let us end with the Shalom prayer. Shalom. 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 Wholeness brings a peace that passes all understanding. Be with you. Nothing severed, nothing broken, all complete in peace. The serenity of God all around you, in you, out of you. May the Spirit of God be with you. Go fellowship with Almighty Daddy God that loves you. That saved your soul out of the pit of hell of this earth. Go fellowship with Daddy now. Go read your word. Go fellowship with each other and God's word. May all things come to alignment that the Lord has for your life. Shalom.